I'm gonna make this video right now because if I don't make it, no, oh, what the fuck is wrong with my camera? Anyways, I'm gonna make this video right now because if I don't make it right now, I'm probably not gonna make it anytime soon. And I didn't plan on making any videos until the debate on Tuesday, assuming the guy even shows up. I mean, he's he already ducked it the first time, but that's okay. If he doesn't show up, I've got other content ready to make. So, but. I wanted to make this video before the debate because I get asked at least once every fucking video that I upload, like, what is natural law? What what do you mean by that? What do you what like what are you referring to when you what do you mean when you say natural law? What do you mean when you say the source, the universe, nature, etc.? I'm gonna clarify all that right now. And this video isn't gonna be long because the truth isn't complicated. It's actually really simple. Okay? All natural law is, all natural law means, is the natural laws of the universe. That means that no matter what anybody does, things happen naturally. As human beings, we have free will. With our free will, we make decisions. From our decisions, we take actions, and from our actions, there's natural consequences, sometimes more than one. These consequences happen naturally, regardless of your opinions, regardless of your philosophies, regardless of your beliefs in them or not. The universe operates under natural law, so everything born in the universe operates under natural law. Now, this sounds simple, and it is pretty simple, but most people think that the laws of the universe or the laws of nature don't apply to themselves, especially in 2023 where most people are being raised to believe that their actions have no consequences. But every decision that you make and every action that you take has consequences. Some more long-term than others. Now, essentially what I'm mostly focused on doing with my channel is explaining to people the positive consequences and the negative consequences of taking either the path of high resistance or the path of low resistance, okay? The path of high resistance is a much more difficult path and it isn't for everybody. That's kind of why I pretty much closed off my channel to everybody except the small, tiny group of people that can get it. People don't like that I deleted my Toontown videos. People don't like that I deleted my Pirate 101 videos. They're always talking about nostalgia and memories, etc. Understand something, guys. I got to practice what I preach. In order to attract strong energy to you, you have to cut off all the weak energy. Okay? The laws of the universe punish hypocrisy. You can't preach one thing, then do the opposite. A lot of people wonder why they don't get properly rewarded for their decision making is because they're putting out hypocritical energy. When you half ass something and there's a lot of hypocrisy, that's what you attract. You attract other people that half ass, you attract even more hypocrisy. So what I tried to do is, I got entire videos talking about this, everything you put out comes back to you, the internal reflects the external, vice versa, right? How you are internally is how your world's going to be externally. But essentially, my main thing is sticking strictly to what is true, sticking strictly to what is natural, that way I attract more truth, and that way I attract more of what is natural. I enjoy helping people. As a result, I naturally attract others that like to help other people. So, you know, shout out to my homeboy Mason who helped me out big time recently. And I'm going to pay you back, Mason. I intend to do so with, you know, within a short time period. But, you know, we're going to leave it at that. Don't need to say the details in the video. Anyways, I got a live debate coming up on Tuesday. OK, because two years ago, one of the first videos I, I made um, for this path is talking about how the root word of belief is lie. 
And I make sure that that is the first video anybody sees when they click on my channel. Why? Because I'm setting the tone as to what people can expect before they even go any further with my videos. Because if they can't even acknowledge that what they believe and what is actually true are two separate things, then they don't need to see any more of my videos because this path isn't for them. This is probably the hardest thing most people have to do in their lives when it comes down to stepping on this path. Because if you hold lies to your core, because that's what a belief is. A belief isn't what is true. A belief is what you think is true. A belief is what you want to be true, okay? We're going to debate that Tuesday, but there's really not going to be much to debate. I'm predicting it's going to be a one-round knockout. It's going to be the shortest debate I've ever had on my channel because you can't possibly refute the fact that a belief is a lie. It's not what is actually true because if it was actually true, you would just call it the truth. But that's the first, that's the first video anybody sees on my channel. Because you have to understand, deception is the opposite of what is natural. And if you put out deceptive energy, you're naturally going to attract that back to you, which is counterproductive for trying to ascend further. If you're trying to perfect your craft, you need truthful, honest information. Okay? And this happens naturally. You don't have to believe. I mean, your beliefs can say otherwise, right? Your opinions can say otherwise, but at the end of the day, you attract what you are. Lies attract lies, truth attracts truth, natural attracts natural, etc., etc., etc. And everything born in the universe falls under universal law. Even if you think it doesn't apply to you, understand something. The universe is very good at enforcing its laws. It doesn't need police officers. It doesn't need governments. These are all human invented concepts. Every action that you take and every decision that you make has a natural consequence. And honestly, I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't think I need to say anything else. So from now on, when people ask me what is natural law, what is universal law, I'm going to link this to I'm going to link them to this video. Now, to the people that want to know the specifics, what happens if you do this, that, etc. If this video doesn't answer your question, then I would suggest going straight to the ultimate source of knowledge, nature, the universe itself, and get what you seek on your own. Because at the end of the day, these videos are just a stepping stone. They're, they're intended to get you to see things and get to a certain level. And to go further on that, you got to go. You got to do that on your own. You got to be your own savior. I'll catch you guys in the next video.